how's it going? My name's John McLennan. Hope you're doing fantastic. And I'm here with GuitarControl.com today bringing you this video lesson. And we're looking at a song by the Beatles called Drive My Car. And it's got some really cool guitar parts in it. I'm going to break the whole song down for you. Be sure to click the link below so you can get the tab that goes along with this lesson. And we're going to zoom in and break it down. Here we go. So for this intro, we're basing it really off a D7 chord and playing a great little bluesy figure here. You're starting out on the 7th fret of the 4th string. Then you drop to your 1st finger, 5th fret, 3rd string. Then I reach up to 8 on that same string, play the note, and quickly slide back to 7. Then 5, then 7 on the 4th string. So I've got... And from that 7, I guess I'm also doing a pull-off. So it's slide, pull-off. It's a nice little kind of just slur across the notes. Then we got this uh, cool blues lick here where basically you're playing five and six, but you're slightly bending up that six on the second string. Just to give it a little bit of kind of blues out of tune flavor. And then you take your first finger, you bar it across two strings, the second and third strings, and you play double stops. Five, five, seven, seven. So. So I've got. And then you do a pull off from those double stops, seven to five. So the way you do that is you just kind of dig into the notes and pull and you know pull the string down to repluck it. Then you play 7 on the 4th string and then 5-5 five, five, again 7-7. Seven, seven. So that second measure is into the verse and the verse kind of doubles to me it's it's like a classic Paul McCartney kind of bass line so the guitar is doing this bass line figure where it's just playing starting on the note D at the 5th fret, playing it again, uh, dun, sorry, just one time. So 1, 2, then you play 7, and slide up to 9, then put your first finger down, 7 on the 4th string, and then you play 9, 7, 5, so it's kind of just copy paste that figure to the note G starting at the third fret sixth string so uh, so it's literally the same movement just gone to different strings the only thing is on the G is where he plays the note twice so he goes so there's two G's so on D it's G, and in fact that's following the chords, the chords are D7. Master girl, what you wanna do to be? Master girl, what 
she wanted to be. D7, she said, baby, can't you see? Okay, so that's going to go one, two, three times. So let's do it together slowly. Here we go. Three, four. time two three measure you basically move up to this note A at the fifth fret and you play uh, eighth notes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and this is the you can do something in between you can do something in between and that little uh, a chord launches us into the chorus. So just to slow that down, it's a measure of eighth notes. I'm going all down strokes here with my pick, just going one and two and three and four and one and two and then you slide with your third finger up to the ninth fret on that same string. Drop your first finger down. Uh, seven on the fifth, then nine, seven, nine, D da -do. So it's da -do -da -de -da -do. So just to reverse, the last two measures of the verse are one and two, three and four and one and four. Okay, let's recap. We're going to play the intro, we're going to go to the verse, play everything we've learned so far. Here we go. time. us into the chorus. Nice work! So you've got that intro and verse down. Let's move on to the next part of the song, the chorus. Here we go. So for the chorus part, we're utilizing some power chords, and we kick up the energy a little bit, playing a little harder, and we're digging in. So here's how you start. You put your first finger on the seventh fret, and I play power chords with my first finger and my pinky. So it's a little weird, you know, some people do it with the first and third. Either's cool, you know, um, so most of the time I'll do it like this. So uh, seven, nine, and you're going to do... Uh, four of those. One, two, three, four. And then on the end of four, you're going to walk it down two frets to five, seven, which is an A5 power chord. And then you walk it down another two frets down to G. So in fact, we're just kind of moving in what they call whole steps, which is two frets. So. And then guess what? Back up. So that's the basic idea here of the chorus. We're going B, A, G, then back up to B, A, G, B. Okay, so we do 
one, two, three, four, five bars of that sounds like this. Now in the last measure, in that fifth measure, you're just going to stay on B. You're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we go. Okay, so uh, four power chords, four quarter notes on B. One, two, three, four. Then we do this cool little bass line. And the band's going E minor, A, D. You know, this is, and maybe I'll love you, that part. So uh, he's kind of implying that with the bass notes here. So zero, two, three, zero. It's the first half. And I like to just play these all on downstrokes. And then you move to the fifth string. Zero, back down to the uh, sixth string. Three, two, zero. So, so the whole thing is. Zero, two, three, zero, zero, three, two, zero. Then you go to uh, five here. And this measure is five, 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 seven, five, seven, five, three. And then the last measure is kind of uh, like what we're doing back in the verse. So it's five, 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 seven, slide to nine, seven. Nine, seven, nine. So let me play the whole chorus for you. And again, this is the baby you, baby you can drive my car. One, two, three, four. to our verse, which is our uh, kind of Paul McCartney bass line there for the, uh, for the verse, so. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this lesson inspires you to keep playing and keep practicing guitar. It really is one of the coolest instruments. So for more information, you can click on the annotation on your screen or the iCard if you're on mobile, and you can check out some of the courses available through guitarcontrol.com. All right, I'm John McLennan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video lesson.